What's up guys, this is Kendall Martin and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use my Lightroom presets. So it's just going to be really brief, I'm just going to show you how I use these presets on a day-to-day -day basis when I edit my photos. So let's start with the Pacific Northwest shot. And as you can see it's pretty dark here, but I'm going to throw Pacific Northwest A1 on here. This is one of my favorites. And as you can see the shot is still pretty dark. But all you have to do is come over here. Let's boost up the shadows a little bit and the exposure a little bit. Oh, a little too much. I kind of like my Pacific Northwest shots to be a little moody. And even right there, the shot looks a thousand times better. And you can see what it looked like before and after. And I really like the yellows and the greens that this preset uh, creates. And let's see, looks like the preset kind of blew out the highlights over here on the mountains. So maybe I'll grab an adjustment brush and then I'll paint it on here. And it's got some leftover exposure that's on there, but I'll just clear those and clear that and just bring down the highlights oh, a little too much. Bring down the highlights a little bit just so I can see those peaks. And it's really a sloppy job that I'm doing here, but I just want to show you guys really quickly what I would do to each individual part of the photo. Maybe it's a little dark. I've got some glare on my screen, but it looks like it's a little dark down here. Maybe I'll bring up the shadows so I can see more of those yellows and those greens. Obviously, if I was going to spend time editing this image, I would be a little bit more particular about the edges here, hold down option and I can erase the shadows that I've got up there and the way that I make it so it's visible for me to see where I've actually painted on I press the O key and it turns it on and off and then I can hit option and I can erase so I can erase it and then I can let go of option on Mac and uh, draw it back in there all right so that looks pretty good compared to that to that. I really like the colors that that preset gives me. And I did some minor adjustments to the exposure, the shadows, and then just messed with the highlights and the shadows down here. So let's move on to the next one. So this is a shot from Bali and it's from some rice terraces that we visited at sunrise. And this is before the sun came out. I was just kind of wandering around waiting and uh, shot this. And I really like all the green that I have here. And that's really great for the the Bali presets because they heavily focus on green. So let me grab the Bali A1 preset and see what I have here. And I really like that, but I think for this shot, let's go to the next one, Bali C3 maybe. I'm really getting into these desaturated greens. And this is a little flat, I would say. So maybe, whoops, bring up overall shadows bring down the blacks maybe bring up the overall exposure just to kind of get it to look kind of nice maybe even bring up the bottom of the tone curve a little bit and if you guys want me to do a tutorial going over the tone curve and some of the more complex uh, parts of Lightroom let me know because these can get really really crazy really really fast um, right now though for the presets I want you guys to be able to put this preset on your photo and then uh, work here in the basic treatments of your photo to make it look good and it'll be nice and quick and easy for you. I've already used uh, this mask tool in the other photo but I think I want to have a little bit of yellow at the top of the trees here so I'm going to bring this uh, gradient effect and put it here Maybe just reset all these and just bring in some maybe bring in some warmth to the top of the trees. That looks pretty nice from the original. It's got some yellow light coming in from the top. But I think the greens are what the preset really made for me instantly, and those are the hardest to recreate. Um, let's take a look at this photo with this is obviously a much different preset, much darker, much more moody, um, darker greens. 
what else I really like? Let's see, let's reset it and go with this. Also, I really love these colors. There's not much I want to really do to this photo. Maybe bring up the shadows a little bit. Maybe bring down the blacks just so down here I can get some more contrast from the top of the frame where it's very well lit. And I think that's about it for that photo. It looks pretty good. I could go a lot of different ways with this photo because there's so much green, there's so much to play with. I can literally choose any of these presets. And well, this one is just to bring down. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Basically, I want you to be able to put these presets on your photos, especially if they're all green like this, and then just kind of figure out where the exposure needs to be. So let's move on to the last photo of the tutorial. And this is where I'm going to use the universal preset that I have, which I couldn't decide uh, where to put this preset. It's a preset that I use very often, and it doesn't really fit into any of the packs. I have the mountains pack, the winter pack, the tropical pack, and it just works in a lot of different areas. So I decided to put it in the master collection of all presets. It's all 35 or something. It's 35. 30 for something presets, I can't even remember. They're all right here. But here, let me pop that on there, and immediately the image just looks so much better. It really adds some contrast. And I really like the color of greens. A lot of times it makes the greens a lot more saturated, and I don't really like that. So I would just come down here and I would go to saturation on my HSL and just bring down the greens. But I actually really like the look of these greens. And I don't even think I want to do anything anything else to this because it really shows the power of that preset and how it makes the image look. The only thing I might do is it's a little overexposed up here, so I might put a gradient and just bring down the exposure just a tad, just so everything's evenly exposed because it was sunrise and the sun was coming up right there. But you get the difference between that photo or that image and this image. Definitely put in some more contrast, brought out the color of the water. It might be a little dark over here so we can bring up the shadows. Eh, maybe I'll have to just paint over here and bring up the shadows if you want it to be even. But sometimes I like to have nice contrasty shadows. So for this tutorial I use a preset from the tropical pack here, from the Pacific Northwest pack here, and then also the universal preset from the master collection of all the presets. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate any of you who purchased the presets and I hope this tutorial is helpful for you in learning how to use them. I hope the presets are useful for you as well. And if you have any questions regarding the presets or regarding my tutorials, please feel free to ask me. I'll always try to respond to you guys. and I'll do my best to answer your questions.